Breaking news tonight from our ABC 7 I team. Several Illinois men now in custody on federal gun charges, and they're now being linked to a pair of bomb plots in downstate Champaign and also in Minnesota. Eyewitness News investigative reporter Chuck Galley is gathering late details, has more now from the newsroom. Chuck. Alan, the Minnesota bomb attack was at a mosque in Bloomington last summer, described by the governor at the time as an act of terrorism. The attempted champagne bombing was at a woman's clinic. Now three rural Illinois men are being linked to both of those and charged with possessing a stockpile of fully automatic weapons. The Minnesota bomb attack occurred in the pre-dawn hours of August 5th last summer. Even though a dozen people were gathered for morning prayers, no one was hurt, although the blast damaged the imam's office at the Dar al Farouk Islamic Center. Then three months later, a bomb found here at the Woman's Health Practice in Champaign. Until today, authorities say both of those incidents were separate and unsolved. Now, according to these court records filed in downstate Illinois, three men connected to the bombings and a fourth Illinois man were all arrested this morning. They are charged with possession of a machine gun. The FBI, along with all of our criminal justice partners, cannot do our jobs without the vast amount of information provided by concerned citizens who share our common goals of protecting our citizens and upholding the rule of law. In December, a confidential informant provided these photos to federal authorities in Illinois, taken in a home where one of the suspects lived with his parents in Clarence in central Illinois. Then confidential source number two reported seeing illegal firearms, some of which were fully automatic, according to court records. And then the source said the suspect Morris began talking about throwing a black powder pipe bomb at a mosque in Minnesota. One of the men arrested, 29-year-old Michael McWhorter, allegedly told authorities the men did not intend to kill anyone, but they wanted to scare them out of the country, show them, hey, you're not welcome here. I'm very happy to report that we've made significant progress in the case here in the recent hours. Um, because of the nature of this case, uh, we've, seen an, we've seen an overwhelming level of support uh, from our community for the Dar al Farouk Community Center and the Muslim community in Bloomington. In addition to several confidential police sources, it would appear the FBI lab matched the bombs found in Champaign and in Minnesota. All four men are now in federal custody. One is being held without bond. The other three are due to appear in court downstate this week. Kathy.